Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber again and uh, yeah, I think we'll start with Swipe this morning. Obviously you can see that Swipe is having a pullback, um, there is some profit taking going on, quite understandable, you know, you can't expect um, it to go in a straight line, you know, Swipe hitting $5 yesterday and uh, obviously you can see some profit taking here. I did say in a previous video that you could see it come back and retest this support. So that is a possibility right now, but I do personally um, expect that there is um, a lot more upside uh, coming for Swipe. Uh, some of the reasons being, obviously we talked about um, staking with Binance being supported on staking and in the Swipe wallet. So the staking is actually live now. They've got over the counter um, availability, all right, also on Binance. So you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, spot markets and order books and all of this is coming through on the Telegram, all right? Um, they've launched a test net, all right? So that's live. Obviously, when it comes to test nets and main nets, you get a lot of people, they buy the test net, they sell the main net. So I expect that to play a part in the price action as well over the next few months or however long um, until the main net, at least. Uh, they also hadn't asked me anything on, on Reddit. Another thing is, is that they've also got a partnership with Carver Labs now. Obviously, you know, they're both DeFi projects. And yeah, so that's that's all the news on Swipe. Um, as you can see, after this breakout, you've got all of this news coming out in just a couple of days. I do expect that to affect price action, but um, uh, in a good way. But obviously, you know, you can see when, you know, when, it's, when you see a price rise, a price increase, you know roughly like 100 some percent 160 maybe 170 percent right um there's bound to be some profit taken um after that but i do expect it to come down um it, as as far as this support level if it is going to make it down that far i do expect that um you know i don't i don't believe that the the uh price the, the um price appreciation is finished yet at the moment Obviously, you can see the RSI is taking a bit of a heavy dip. The MACD is getting a bearish cross. So you can see that. So, yeah, we do expect there to be a little bit more downside. That's on the four hour. If we check on a higher time frame. All right, we don't have that yet. Okay. But um, it definitely could play out, you know, against you at the moment. I could be wrong, but yeah, I do think that, that there is um, more upside, especially, like I said, if we broke out at this level, I don't expect us to come back down here. I expect us to hold some sort of support above there and continue to the upside. And it doesn't mean it's going to happen overnight, especially being the fact it is a very high market cap coin at the moment. Low market cap for what it is. Um, you know, low market cap for what it is being a DeFi project uh, uh, um, uh, compared to Crypto.com, Coinbase and things like that. But, you know, it still is in the 200 millions, all right. But I do expect uh, something like Swipe to be, you know, entering into the billions in, in, not, in the not too distant future. Okay, so that's Swipe for now, guys. Um, having a quick look at Spark Point, all right. Uh, spark point obviously we've seen it performing quite well um obviously getting a bounce from there we're seeing it come up and now it's cooling off a little bit i would like to see um this sort of w pattern to the upside but when it reaches this level obviously um that's going to be the next resistance okay so let's just put a line in there so we can see that uh, we'll go from the top of the wick all right but yeah, Spark Point is uh, kind of performing as expected. Okay, did expect to see a bounce, but um, also expect didn't expect it to come all the way up. Okay, it's quite normal. Obviously, when you see it re retrace all the way from up here, it might take a while to get back up there. Okay, so there's nothing to worry about for me personally. If we do a Fibonacci retracement, 
and we can see it did come all the way back down to the 0 0.786 okay so the bounce was expected we've also seen it break straight through the 618 and then now we see it getting a little bit of a pullback again uh, will we maintain above these levels that's the question now um, the MACD is not the MACD did get a little bit of a bearish cross over here, obviously, but as you can see, it recovered and it has been brought back up over the line. Uh, the momentum is not really there at the moment, but um, obviously, if, if, if you look on the actual chart, you can see that that was a big bounce, all right? Um, we're looking at, a, let's just get rid of that. Okay, we're looking at a bounce of, we're looking at a bounce of around, 180% bounce, so that's really good, you know, it's quite normal for people to, you know, begin to scale back out some profits. Uh, me personally, I'll let you know my strategy for this time around. Obviously, I saw a huge profit over here. Um, I got back in right at the bottom and, you know, I think I'm going to be holding for, you know, the next run. Um, yeah, that's Spark Point. Uh, nothing much for me to say this morning, to be honest. Uh, all we can do is wait and see what happens at this point. Yeah, no announcements from Spark Point at the moment. Well, well they did put out one. You know, they're celebrating 10,000 downloads of their the Crypto Burst. Uh, they call it like the Candy Crush, the Crypto Candy Crush. All right, so uh, if you're a gamer, you can download that game and, you know, have a little play around with that. Not really my thing, but yeah, 10,000 downloads on, on, on their game. So, you know, a lot more users coming in and hopefully they can get into the millions soon and let more people to know about Sparkpoint and stuff like that. You can actually um, play and earn on that. So, yeah, you can check that out, guys. One of those mornings for me, it's actually my birthday today. And uh, so, yeah, you know, um, if you subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, leave me a happy birthday in the comments, guys. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, that's it for now. I'm actually dead tired this morning because I was up well late. So, yeah, just going to get on with the day now and uh, see how it goes in these charts. I might put another video out in a little while, depending on what yeah, what's happening in the markets. But uh, for now, I think that's about it. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you again in the next one.